Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gibbo the Shaman, and today we're talking about the benefits of astrology, or Vedic astrology in particular. So, yeah, um, we'll talk about some differences between Vedic astrology and Western astrology, and um, just how I use astrology on on a pretty regular basis, just to learn about myself and about, uh, you know, about who I am, who, you know, get in touch with myself, with my soul. And, um, yeah, so some pretty cool uses for astrology. Um, so let's get into, um, what are some differences between Vedic and Western astrology? Well, um, so the first difference between Vedic and Western, um, uh, Vedic is called sidereal, uh, so you'll you'll hear it referred to as Jyotish, as sidereal astrology, as um, Eastern astrology, and um, and Western is tropical astrology. So we have sidereal versus tropical. So. That's uh, something that's, that differenti differentiates them. They are different systems of astrology. They do uh, vary. They're not, they're not the same. Um, so another thing is that the Western system uses the, the Earth's relationship with the sun, and they use the sun sign, whereas in sidereal or Vedic, or Jyotish, we actually use the Ascendant. We use the Earth's relationship with the constellations called Nakshatras. And uh, there's Rashis and Nakshatras. So there's signs and um, miniature constellations called Nakshatras. So, um, so yeah, th those are really important distinctions. Because essentially we have um, like two different systems. It's like one is all about the sun and it's, you know, it, it's very, you know, in my, in my judgment, it's very superficial. It's very um, just uh, inaccurate, superficial fluff. And um, so unfortunately that's the system that most Westerners have grown up with. And then a lot of people, like critics of astrology, will say, well, my daily or weekly or monthly horoscope predictions didn't come true, so, you know, it's like, so therefore astrology must be BS. Well, yeah, Western astrology is BS, <laughs> essentially. So... <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, it's very important to make that distinction because there is a system of astrology out there which is not BS, and that is Vedic astrology, Jyotish, that is, um, essentially Vedic astrology. So, um, so yeah, that, that's the key to this is like, because a lot of times in, you know, Vedic, or in Western, they'll just, you know, they'll say, oh, your sun sign is this, because uh, the sun was in this certain constellation for this amount of time, uh, for, you know, 30 days, say, I'm, I was born in July, so, oh, you're a Cancer. Well, yeah and no. I, I, I do resonate with Cancer because my moon is in Aquarius, which is which acts a lot like Cancer. And so people seeing me from the outside will say, oh, you're definitely a Cancer. But, sorry, I'm actually a Libra. <laughs> um, that's the, uh, that's like the grounding thing that, w that my life was based on the Libra, you know, finding balance, finding peace, harmony, not going from one extreme to the other, things like that. 
and relationships and talking and uh, enjoying, you know, the world. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. All right, so, so yeah. Um, so the, you know, people a lot, a lot of times, oftentimes, will come to my channel um, because they're looking for their Western placements. And that's okay. Uh, if you want to use Western astrology uh, using my channel, that you know, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, just know that Western astrology is 24 degrees off in their calculation. So not only do they use the sun sign as the most important thing, which is not the most important thing, the ascendant is the most important, followed by the chandra, the moon, the moon placement. So those are the most important things. Um, and then followed by the sun placement. So um, why is that? Because the physical body is the ascendant. The, the ascendant is a representation of the physical body. It's how your soul was literally mounted in place, how the energies of the cosmos were infused into you at the time of your birth. That can be seen by the ascendant. The moon sign is how you think. It is your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions. It is how you... Uh, the meaning... The meaning that you make out of the world and things like that so yeah um, and then so so yeah the, those are very important things to that should come first so um, the other so there's the um, the first difference is the difference in using sun versus ascendant and then um it being a um vedic astrology is significantly focused on nakshatras and uh the the smaller constellations and that's because um those constellations are essentially pouring their energy into the planets and so this is what differentiates one Aries from another one Libra from another uh, you know it it really if you look at the nakshatras even the padas even the the, the quadrants the padas of each nakshatra so each sign has two and a half nakshatras within it, making 27 nakshatras total. And then also it has, um, it has, um, each, each nakshatra, each of those 27 has four parts to it. And that makes a total of 108. So that's why that number is so important. So, um, yeah. Then, um, and then the other thing is that, like, if you look at a Western chart right now, like I can pull it up. Um, I'll go ahead and pull up, um, I want you guys who are Western lovers to go ahead and pull up a chart. Um, pull up a Western chart for like here and now in this moment. And I'll pull up my Vedic chart. So if you do this, um, right now, today is April 27th, 4.19 p.m. MST. And we have, um, let's do the moon's, or yeah, let's do Jupiter and the moon's placement. So Jupiter is in, uh, let's see, one degree of Aries. 
He is in Ashwini Pada 1. He is in Aries constellation Ashwini Nakshatra Pada 1. Now, if you look at the Western chart, it'll probably show in. He's in like. Um, Danishta or something, or um, I forget, but like somewhere in Pisces or something like that, or yeah, so it's uh, it's really interesting to see that, like, um, how those two charts are different, and why is that? Because essentially, Vedic or Western astrology didn't, didn't account for the precession of the equinox, um meaning that it didn't calculate for planetary drift or you know the the drift that happens uh in the constellations so um so now if i would now that i know that jupiter is in one degree of aries if i look at um an actual astronomical app or you know take a telescope and go look out in the sky at night, what I would find is Jupiter going from the pi sign of Pisces into the sign of Aries. It would be at one degree Aries. Whereas, and if you look at the Western horoscope, it would be hit somewhere in Pisces. So that's just not accurate. So Vedic astrology actually accounts for the real time positions of the planets in the sky not some arbitrary calculation of the planets in the sky which is very important because uh, some planetary you know an arbitrary planetary calculation is not going to have the same effect that it would as the real planet is going through the sky so that's important Alright, so, um, some major distinctions there that I wanted to, you know, let you guys know about. Because a lot of people, I get this all the time, guys. People come into my channel <laughs> and, uh, you know, wondering about Lilith and Chiron and, uh, the second something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, just all these Western stuff, this Western, you know. Anyway, I don't do any of that. And uh, also predictions. A lot of people are very into predictions and through astrology. And I guess, like, I get that. Like, however, the thing is, guys, you'll probably never see me make a prediction video with astrology because I believe in free will. Um, You know, it's like... Your, your fate is not set in stone. You have the choice to, you have the choice to, you know, determine your fate through the actions that you take every day. You know, um, for example, my chart. My chart does not say that I'm going to be excellent in Vedic astrology. But guess what? I've determined that, you know what? Damn it, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm passionate about it, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, so, this whole thing about fate and waiting, like, waiting for an opportune moment, waiting for when you're, when you're, uh, lover is going to show up out of the blue in your life, you know, it's just not going to happen. You have to be the one to determine your fate in that regard by taking action, by stepping out of the comfort zone and, uh, you know, not, not just waiting for something to happen because guess what guys? There was a time in my, my life where that's exactly what I did. I just waited around for things to happen. And guess what? Ain't shit happen. <laughs> Not 
not a damn thing happened for me. Because, you know, I have to be the one to go make it happen. That's why the divine gave us this ability to take action, to do things, to have, you know, arms and legs and the ability to pursue our desires and and actually do the nitty gritty stuff in 3D reality that we don't want to do. But guess what? It's necessary. It's very necessary to actually do it. And um, so yeah, it's, I come from that school of thought that it's like just, you know, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. Don't, don't wait for the universe to, to do anything for you. The universe already gave you an able body. The universe already gave you the capacity to forge your own destiny, forge your own life the way that you want it to be. Don't wait for anything to, you know, to help you or do it for you or, no, you got to go out there and be the one to do it yourself. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people just sit on their ass and wait all day for, for the new earth, for the awakening, the second coming, the whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, enlightenment. They're waiting for something to be different, something to change. Sorry. Nothing's going to change unless you get off your ass and make it change. <laughs> so, uh, that's just something that I had to throw in there because just a lot of people have that mindset of, oh, my my destiny is determined by, by fate, my astrological chart. Well, certainly, certainly the planets have an effect on you. However, you're the one that's here. You're the one, you're the man in the arena. Uh, the crowd can boo and cheer, like the planets can, can give you bad, bad effects and uh, positive effects, but you're the one in the arena. You're the one who decides your fate. You know, so if you have if you have every single planet cheering you on, then it's going to be easier to take that and determine your fate with that. Take the action that you need to take. But if every planet is against you, booing you, that's like everybody in a crowd booing you. But guess what? Their boos, they don't mean anything. <laughs> they, uh, you know, they, they can affect you, they can affect your attitude, uh, but at the end of the day, they're not affecting your actions. You have the choice of determining your actions. So, um, yeah, I, I needed to, both needed to hear that and needed to say it, uh, because it's the truth. So, anyway, um, the way that I like to use astrology is mainly um, just to learn more about myself. Because, you know, it's... Like, for example, if, if somebody is very unsure of themselves, very timid, very insecure, things like that, astrology can be a great tool to, you know, to show you, yeah, you're supposed to be like this. You're supposed to, you know, this is, this is who you are. There's no, there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be, you know, that's like, uh, feel bad about or, you know, it's like, <laughs> just be yourself. Um, so astrology has done that a lot for me. It's like, just shown me, shown me the greatness of who I am, and, uh, and so it, it's a valuable tool to really 
gain that deeper understanding of ourselves and to um to show us who we really are and the thing about that is it's like yeah this is who you really are stop running away from it stop hiding it you know so um that's at least for me like how it's been super helpful for me so And that's what I kind of, um, that's what I like to, Jesus, <laughs> uh, that's what I like to do in my readings as well. Hold on, guys. So yeah, that's, um, essentially I like to, um, use that to, you know, just discover more of who I am and also, um, it really helps clients, like, to... You know, my astrology clients, I love using that in readings to using astrology, you know, to help my clients realize that this is who they are, this is who they are supposed to be, you know, and that that is exactly, you know, it's necessary and it's wanted. Um, because so many of us, like, personal, personally speaking, can feel, you know, like we're supposed to be something different than we actually are. Um, but when you, when you actually take a step back and look at it from a different angle, it's like, you being yourself, being your authentic self is exactly who the world needs. Because, uh, you know, the more that we try to please other people or be different than who we are, we're robbing the world of our authenticity. We're robbing the world of our, our uniqueness. So, you know, it's, this is, uh, astrology is a great tool to actually help us to, um, to discover our, our uniqueness and our authenticity and and who we are and to unashamedly just be that and pursue that be who we are and pursue being who we really are and uh, so many times the world can kind of get in the way of that you know uh, with these false expectations and false beliefs that we're supposed to live up to other people's standards and be something that we're not. However, it's just freeing and liberating to kind of step out of that and just be who I am and for you to be who you are. And yeah, because the, honestly, guys, there's beauty in everybody. Uh, when we're all authentic and um, honest with ourselves. So, yeah. So that's what astrology has helped me to do. And I hope that's what astrology will continue to help, uh, help will help all of us to do. So, if you are interested in any of my astrological services, you can go to gebotheshaman.com. As it says, I am the best astrologer. Why is that? Not because I know the most, but because I, you know, I operate with my clients in a way that is conductive to their spiritual evolution. Alright, so, and... So I have my astrology readings, I have a bunch of things to offer, and I have my new book, and it is coming out in print very, very soon. So um, you can go to, um, there's a link down below in the description. You can also go to gebotheshaman.com to click the link through to Amazon's site and get this book. Tantric Secrets of Vedic Astrology by Vince Serna, yours truly. 
And uh, so yeah, that's that's something that I recently came out with, and yeah, just uh, well, really enjoying the freedom of of who I am, and expressing that through my books, and it's it's really cool to uh, see all the support and all the um, all the love and attention that I'm getting by you know, from you guys and from my friends and family and things like that. And, uh, yeah, it's like awesome. So I really appreciate your support. And, um, so we also have some Qigong classes. So we have, uh, the, um, self transformation challenge and the cosmic Qigong course. Both of those are available on my website, gebotheshaman.com, and we have um, the astrology certification course, and uh, basically my astro my certif uh, <laughs> my astrology certification course is designed to help you to become a spiritual counselor, to become a certified astrologer, and that doesn't mean that you'll know everything. That doesn't mean that you'll be the best <laughs> or or the smartest or anything like that but it's a good step to take to help you to uh, actually gain the confidence that you'll need to to actually talk with your clients and to actually establish yourself as a vedic astrologer and most of the the astrology that i do is counseling it's based around counseling. It's based around helping people figure out their problems and work for work towards solutions. So anyway, yeah. Then we have the um, these astrology consultations. So if you're interested in um, an astrology reading, then you can go to gebotheshaman.com. We have birth time rectification service, which is um, essentially it helps you figure out your birth time. Well, I'll, I'll, I will essentially figure out your birth time. <laughs> um, but no, that, that can be really helpful for people, especially if they don't know their birth time. Because in Vedic astrology, your chart changes every... <laughs> damn near every second like it it's insane so uh it's really good to have a a birth chart that you can rely on that that makes you know that will help you to make sense of things and all that good stuff um and then we have the rune readings so the rune readings are essentially if you want to know about your immediate present immediate uh future uh you know how i said i didn't believe in um like fortune telling um or like predictions in astrology well essentially uh this is not um fortune it's not prediction it's more it's more working with the energies that are around you and um kind of just telling you what the energies want me to tell you, essentially. So that's the rune reading. And then we have the career coaching and life coaching. So if you're interested in working with me on that level, um, I, I really help people to figure out what they want to do for a career and to actually make that a, you know, a priority, a, you know, help, help them to take actions towards that so that they can start living their best life and doing what they want to do instead of what they feel compelled to do because they can't pay their bills in a career that they hate. So, um, then we have the trauma healing course. So that's, um, essentially, uh, just a way to become more aware of your, your feelings and things like that. Um, 
and it gives you tools for how to, you know, cope with them and things like that. So check that out. And then we have the distance energy healing. So, um, distance energy healing is a, 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 like a one hour session with me and it's done by energy healing. So, uh, you don't need to be there. Um, you can just be in meditation and I'll be connecting with you through meditation, through, um, astral travel. And yeah, so it's very cool. All right. And then we have, that's about it. So yeah, guys. So if you're interested in anything that I have to offer, then you can go to gebotheshaman.com and we will talk to you next time. Peace. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.